guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Leslie, and for today's video, I wanted to film a vlogging video, which basically I'm just gonna like have you guys along and like show you guys the process I take to make a blog post from beginning to end. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and go check out my blog on Instagram. It's at Set My Mind Free. I just started a couple months ago, so I'm not a pro or anything. I just wanted to show you guys how I do it and how it has been working for me. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first step I take is to have an idea of what I want to do, which seems obvious and easy, but this is where I usually struggle the most because it can actually be pretty difficult to have an idea, especially in a world where like there's just so much stuff. I do a couple things that usually help me. I ask myself, what would I want to see? Like if I were to go and read a blog post, what would I want it to be about? Also, what would my audience want to see? Because even though this is my hobby, I'm the one writing it, I have an audience that I want to target. And I want to keep that audience that I already have interested as well as I want to bring a new, you know, audience attract more people. So I also keep that in mind. And then I also ask myself, like, what is popular right now? What are the trends? And what season is it? Because depending on what season it is can help you to see what's popular at this moment. It's October, it's fall, everybody's talking about fall, so maybe a video about fall will be more, or a blog post about, if I keep saying video, it's because like I'm a YouTuber, so switching to like blogging is like, I keep mixing those two up, but if I say video, I mean to say a blog post, I'm sorry, in advance, but if um, it's a fall themed blog post, people are more likely to click on it because that's what's the thing right now you know fall it's the season of fall so also keep that in mind and when none of those things don't work i sit down i scroll through bloggers blog posts i scroll through youtubers youtube videos and i get ideas i, I change them i add this i take that and i just kind of make it my own and do it like you know you have to get inspiration from other people and that's okay you know so that's usually what i do once i have an idea it's time to plan everything and i usually do this by writing everything down like how i have it for this video and then i just sit down get a paper a pen and i just start organizing the structure of the blog post if i want bullet points if i wanted to have sub bullet points do i want it to be numbered do I want it to be in paragraphs? All that stuff. I sit down and I just figure that out. And then pictures. Obviously, you know, blog posts to make it interesting, you need pictures. So that's when I like just kind of sit down and think, do I want to have a like photo shoot for that blog post? Or do I just want to go on a photo editing app, have a blank screen and then just like add text and like draw and stuff like that. So that's when all that comes in and how do I want this blog post to look? How do I want it to attract people? So the next step I take is to type everything out. This usually takes me about one to two days, depending on how much I planned out already. Um, I do do it on Google Docs. I know other people might do it in other places, you know, I do it on Google Docs and then I just copy and paste it into my Instagram. Um, it has to be under 2,000 characters because it is on Instagram and they do have a character limit. Once I am done with the blog post, I usually have about three more days till the day of uploading it. So I make sure to go back each day and read it again. Because once I, you know, go to sleep and do my daily stuff and I come back and read it, it's like a new perspective, you know, a fresh set of eyes reading it. So I... You know, I feel like I can edit it more. I can be like, okay, you know what? This needs to go. This can stay. But once I just come back and do it, I just feel like that really makes a difference on how I edit it and get it to be the final result. So number four is to take the pictures or edit the pictures. So this is usually where I struggle the most because I'm not really good at photography, let alone like take pictures of me. That's, that's pretty hard. So usually... If I'm going to do it, you know, try my best, I do it and then I edit the pictures. And if I'm not going to take pictures and I just go on a photo editing app and I just like edit, put stuff together, make it, you know, eye catching and everything. And I just go and do all of that. Okay, so the fifth step I take is to just 
do my last edits. Usually I do this right before I upload it, read it one more time, make sure everything is as good as I know it is, if that makes sense, because sometimes there's like there's been times where I upload something and I think it's good and then later someone texts me and they're like, you misspelled the word and I'm like, mm -hmm. so I just edit it as much as I can. I just try to make it as perfect as I can. Sometimes I upload it, there are a couple mistakes. It happens, I'm human. But that's why it helps to go back each day and read it because each day I find something new to fix. And then I also just open my gallery and I look at all the pictures that I have for my blog post. And in my head, I just put them in order. Okay, I want that one first, that one second, and stuff like that. Sometimes they don't need to be in order, sometimes they do. So I go and do that before I even go on Instagram because it just helps me have everything planned out and makes the uploading process easier. Okay, and number six and the last one I posted on Instagram. Wow, that was loud. I upload it. I just copy and paste everything. I put the pictures in order. If the pictures need any less edits, I will edit them right there on the Instagram little tools thing that they have. And it's, it's up, you know. In the comments, I will add some hashtags just so it can, like, you know, get people to see it. And then I also promote it. I have to promote what I'm doing. I want Facebook, on Instagram, on Snapchat, and I promote it. Um, I leave the links, I do all that stuff because I want people to know I uploaded a blog post. I want them to see what I'm doing and that really helps. Sometimes even just to get people's attention, like, you know, I will make a little promotion edit of the blog post. So I will just, you know, go on my tools on like PicMonkey and I will get pictures and this and that and I will just give it a title and everything and upload it and you know usually it says like oh just upload it a blog blah 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 this helps everything helps promoting it everything okay so that is it on how i make a blog post i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys will go and check out my instagram at semi mind free that's my blog instagram go and show it some love leave me some blog post suggestions i would love to hear from you guys and also while you're at it go and check my main accounts on instagram at lessc go and also give it some love i would really appreciate that and yeah i love you guys so much thank you for watching bye